Donating convalescent plasma is now a routine for Michael Seymour. Yes, my third time. Every time he is eligible, you will find him right here on board One Blood's big red bus doing his part to help combat COVID-19. And for Michael and others like him, each donation is deeply personal. My wife passed away from the virus and it's the least I can do to help others. Heather Aldred shares the same tragic reality. Well, I have a lot of personal uh, connections with COVID-19, having had it myself. I also had family members who had it. My grandpa had it and passed away, as well as a good friend also had it and passed away, too. She did not receive convalescent plasma herself, but has seen patients who have. Heather is a patient advocate, working alongside nurses every day on a COVID floor at a Florida hospital. And like I've seen that it works, and I, I've seen that people can benefit from it, and I can potentially save a life. And especially working in healthcare, that's just really humbling to me. It's why Lester James turned out to donate plasma. He's a healthcare worker too, and has seen firsthand how patients improve after receiving convalescent plasma. And anyone that has had coronavirus or COVID-19 should donate the plasma. With the number of coronavirus cases rising, so is the urgent need for convalescent plasma. It is a frontline therapy. Initially, doctors were giving it to critically ill patients, but now it's given to people days within their diagnosis. The more people that we can have that are able to donate, we have more people now that are surviving COVID, so we have more potential donors out there. And so the more potential plasma we're able to get, then the more patients were able to help. Dr. Andrew Myers is the director of inpatient COVID care at Tampa General Hospital. It's something you want to get to patients as quickly as you can because the sooner you can get it to them, you're thinking the better off that they are going to be. He says the antibodies in a recovered patient can help those fighting the virus. He's urging people to give. The sooner you can get those antibodies into the blood of the patient, the hopefully the more you're able to neutralize the infection. The doctor also says the promising prognosis also has more patients asking about the therapy. A lot of questions about it, kind of how often can they get it? Can they get it more than once? Is it helpful? What's the time frame? Things like that. One Blood is collecting, testing, processing and distributing convalescent plasma around the clock. And with the 500% increase in hospital orders in just the past few weeks, donors like Heather, Lester and Michael are needed more than ever. I feel good giving back. I feel like it's uh, I feel like it's patriotism. You're helping out a fellow American. I feel I feel good when I do it. Uh, I feel like I'm making a difference. For One Blood, I'm Serena Fazan.